call Janet Collier. I don't see a Collier Janet in your uh, contacts. You to who? That? Jan Collier. <laughs> my grandma. I don't see a Collier Jan in your contacts. Okay, I got this. I can to who? This. Collier <laughs> Janet. Here. Which one? Janet Beard or Janet Fight? Well, really, neither, neither one. Jan Collier. You know what? I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> Siri's. You can never trust Siri for phone call. Are you ready, big dog? I'm ready. Did I even tell you what I'm we're ready. doing? No. Welcome to Kansas QB, a podcast about growing up in rural Kansas, hosted by two former high school quarterbacks. And now, here are your manly hosts, Steve Jewell and Tyler Martin. Yee-haw! Ride him, cowboy! I lost my voice! Can't do the yee when you lose your voice! Growing up in the cornfields of the Sunflower State, we were inseparable. Brothers from different mothers, who also happened to be sisters. Our mom, not us. Decades later, he's in Iowa, and I'm in Missouri. But we'll always have Kansas, and we'll always be the QB. Howdy, folks, and welcome to the show. I'm Steve. He's Tyler. And today's episode is entitled G-R-A-M-M-Y. What's that spell, Tyler? That's Grammy. Hey, Tyler. Grammy. I ventured in Grammy. I ventured into yeah. the world of YouTube shorts last week and was blown away when a clip from our last podcast received 1,000 views in 24 hours. Uh, it, it wasn't even that great of a short, but it, I guess <laughs> that's the way to get people to, to watch stuff as you do the shorts. Apparently, this YouTube thing is a popular deal. And I mean, I know that I see people scrolling through these shorts all the time. So maybe, maybe that's kind of where we're headed. I, maybe. I, I occasionally scroll through the shorts. But what I've discovered, Tyler, is you got to be really careful scrolling through shorts. You're not really in charge of the content that's come across your phone. And, you know, got little eyes are everywhere. And so I, 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 but our stuff's always appropriate. Right, Tyler? Exactly. Yeah. Who, who runs your algorithm? I don't know. I need, to, I need to talk to that person. But as always, Tyler, you can find the audio version of Kansas QB on nearly every podcasting platform on the planet and the video version on the Jewel Media LLC YouTube channel, along with our classy shorts. We only have one so far, but by the time this one drops, I don't know, maybe we have two. We'll see. Who, who knows how much time I'll have. Today's episode may be a good one to check out on YouTube, though, Tyler, because there will be a couple of visuals, and uh, we don't really want to alienate our audio audience, and I don't think we're going to do that. I don't think there's that much visual today, but, you know, there's more than usual. Yeah, check us out. There's going to be some faces on there that I think a lot of our audience will like to tune in to see. And even though one of us has a face made for radio, I do believe that this, yeah, don't point at me. I do believe this one you're going to want to watch if you catch even some of the visuals. But please, please don't forget to download the episode on your favorite streaming platform. That really helps us out. It really does. And, and really, we look at the numbers. Not like we're, we're not selling advertisements, so it's not like we make no. money on all the downloads. Um, but we do, um, that kind of gives us the, it's the wind in our sails. You know, Tyler is the wind beneath my wings, but that's the wind in my sails. And that's, that's how I decide, okay, how much have everyone put in this thing? So keep downloading the show, keep, uh, you know, uh, commenting, subscribing to our YouTube channel. All these things are fantastic. But Tyler, it's broken news <laughs> time, but we're not going to go straight to broken news. Yeah. We've got to say hello instead to our guest. How did you know we had some people in the room with us right now? <sighs> I, I did think so. Um, in fact, they look somewhat familiar. Might even be called a family resemblance. Oh, my goodness. Are these lovely ladies yours, Tyler? Uh, no, because that would <laughs> oh. be archaic, and we do not go for that kind of thing. Yeah. However, <laughs> I am related to both of them. It's your mom and your sister. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Becky. How are you oh. guys? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Folks might recognize uh, this smiling lady in the glasses in the bottom left-hand corner uh, as the lady that we oftentimes will surprise with a phone call. One of my favorite things about season one. Also, Becky, it's funny, I was going through our making our promo for season two, Tyler, and I just didn't want to take the time to really search for a bunch of stuff. It turns out that like a lot of the clips I end up using all were with Becky talking. So I guess all the best moments in the first season happened with mm -hmm. Becky on the phone. So she's there also. Hey, Becky, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. 
She said hi. Oh, she has she has internet like I do. She does. She's also in Arkansas, so you know what that means. Oh, yeah. Not great internet. Oh, yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's right. Here, I, I want to try something. Nancy, tell me what you think of this. Since you're already on the line, uh, what do you think about us uh, doing what we usually do to you, to your mother? She won't like it any more than I do. Let's <laughs> find out. Her. <laughs> Let's do it. Call Janet Sounds Collier. Sounds like a great idea. I don't see a Collier Janet in your or, contacts. You to who? <laughs> Jan Collier. It's my grandma. I don't see a Collier Jan in your contacts. Okay, I got this. I to who? Collier <laughs> Janet. Here you go. Which one? Janet Beard or Janet Fight? Well, really, neither, neither one. Jan Collier. You know what? I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> Siri's. You can never trust Siri for phone calls. All right. Let, let, I got this, guys. Everybody just, we're good. Um, let's see here. Uh, man, Mike. Again. There she is. Who's running your algorithm? Who's running this show? That's what I want to know. <laughs> My goodness, professional. Not at all. Hello? Is this Janet Collier? Yes, it is. Hello. My name is Guy Montage, and I'm from the bank down the street. We would like to service your loan. <laughs> yeah, you sure. Yo, I sure. See? <laughs> My Grammy's too smart. You can't trick my grandma. Uh, Grammy, it's your favorite uh, grandson, Steve. Your second favorite, or third yeah. favorite. It's your favorite. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. That was always a question, and well, what was my answer? What was my answer always? Well, the, the answer that Ty you give me Tyler. in, 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 in private, <laughs> or the answer yeah. you give everybody else? I would say I have four favorite grandsons. Really? What would be my answer, right? I sure. <laughs> yes, Grammy. On the podcast, yes, but. Sure. We know. Sure. We know. Right. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll see you next weekend. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Grammy, we also have on the line with us uh, your daughter, Nancy, if you'd like to say hello to her. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Mom. I did, and hi, Tyler. I didn't say hi, did I? <laughs> No, that's okay. We we have a we have a connection. She doesn't have to say hi to me, Steve. We just know. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, just here. Okay. Uh, we also have your uh, favorite granddaughter, uh, Becky, on the line. Well, now that's more like it. Okay. Hi, Becky. I'm I'm here. Uh, hello. Don't hang up. Stay on I the phone, Grammy. Up. We're gonna come back okay. to you in just a minute. Um, so. Okay. I mean, if you want to just randomly start talking, you can, but we're going to continue with the show and then we'll ask you a question here in a little bit. Is that okay? That is fine. Excellent. This would not be a good time to run the, the garbage disposal or start mowing your lawn. Very good. All right. She's good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our broken news segment. But before we do that, we wanted to let you know that the broken news segment is brought to you today by our friend, Matt, Darth Ted, Carmen of Midway, my man, Jonah, and of course, Mark Ann. Nancy, if you would like to become a supporter of the Kansas QB podcast, we would love to have you head on over to Patreon and search for our page, Kansas QB. There are different levels and different perks to suit your mood. For those who are already supporters of the show and have a t-shirt, sticker, or both coming your way, just, just hang in there. This is the week that we plan to send them to you. Tyler, does Maddie still need a sticker or two? Yes, she has, I believe, one, maybe two spots left on her water bottle or one of her water bottles. Um, I don't know what your house looks like, Steve, but soon enough, water bottles bottles will be taking over your house. They already are, Tyler. I don't understand how we don't have any room in our cupboards. It's amazing to me the sheer number of bottles, of glasses, of, of plates that we don't use. Why are they in there? And why, when I try to move them out, Tyler, does my wife say, no, 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 we need that. I, I would like to tell you what to do about it, but I believe we're in the same boat, buddy. Mm, that we are. I don't remember which button it is. Not that one. It's a good thing we can edit this. <laughs> not huh? that one. It's this button. Nope, not that button. Uh, let's try. I, I, changed, I just changed the buttons. Hey, go. Nope, nope, that's not the button. Grammy, hang in there. We're not. There's, there's a, okay. Uh, here, here, it's, this, it's this one. Nope, nope, that didn't do it either. Um. Uh, who set up who set up these shortcuts? Broken news. As we like to say, if it ain't broken, it ain't news. Breaking news is for tryhards, and we no longer have stamina for that kind of effort. So we take stories that have already been broken and share them with the folks at home. Have you heard about this, Tyler? 
According to an article posted February 25, 2019, back to the broken news, that's more our style, at www.scientificamerican.com, entitled Grandma's Influence in, is Good for Grandkids, grandmothers, we are told, can enhance the survival of their grandchildren. That is, unless grandmas are too old or live too far away. Our grandma is neither too old nor too far away. Would you agree, Tanner? Yeah, our Grammy was just right on all accounts. She was young and spry when we were young. She she was at a lot of our games and events. Uh, we can talk about her roller skating with us later, or we can skip that if she chooses. <laughs> I believe we did mention um, that in our first uh, episode. Yeah, yeah, we did. A we'll, certain we'll get broken back to wrist. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, she was, we were able to visit her. She was able to visit us. And I guess that makes her perfect. Absolutely. Now, the article goes on to quote two studies that outline the increased survival rates of children in the 17th and 18th centuries who had grandmas close by. Tyler, would you say that our survival was also greatly enhanced by our interactions with our Grammy? Um, yeah, maybe not quite like the 16 or 1700s, uh, but I do believe Grammy's daughters, our moms, met our needs. But our life was greatly enhanced by having our Grammy in our lives. I could not agree more, Tyler. And normally we'd spend more time here, but we got a jam-packed long yeah, show go. for you. So we're going to get... Let's go! The Things We Remember. Tyler, we're getting older. We've already forgotten more than we ever knew. But some memories still cling to our brain parts, like the smell of Folgers coffee to my nose hairs during the morning hours at Grammy's house. This list includes memories from our time growing up in Kansas and in today's episode, Iowa. Let's see how well we can remember. In the Broken News segment, we learned that grandmas increase the survival rates of their grandchildren. Becky, Kevin, Tyler, Brian, and myself. We are all still alive thanks in large part to our Grammy. Speaking of Grammy, let's bring her back on the show to have a little chat. Tyler, what do you think about that? Let's do it. Hey, Grammy, you still there? I'm still here. How are things in Iowa today? Are you buried in snow? It's cold. Not much snow, but it's really cold still. Excellent. We've already covered this next question, but Tyler wants to ask it anyway. Okay, what is no, it? No, I was... No, no, go ahead, no, go ahead, Tyler. Did, did, you get, did, did you get your driveway cleared off? Mm, that wasn't the question. Y yes, I did. Do you need okay, me to come well down then... and clear it off, Grammy? No, I, Roger cleaned it off for me. Oh, good. Good old Roger. Okay, but just so just to get this on the record, which of your grandkids is your favorite? <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I See, don't... she did tell me, Steve. Okay, moving on. Oh. Thank you, Grammy, for clarifying <laughs> that for us. All right, Grammy, we're going to get some other folks' opinion later, but what is the secret to being a great grandma? Not to being a, a, a great grandma, but being a really great grandma, a really a fantastic grandma. A normal grandma that's also maybe a great grandma as she gets older. What's the secret? I don't know. I just love them and, and take care of them, I guess. Does that sound about right I, to you, Nancy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she put them before you, yeah. I was kind of expecting to have a little bit more to go on here to kind of let my wife know what she needs to kind of work on before <laughs> we get to grandma status. But you're just telling me, Grammy, it's just about love. Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Well, Grammy, let me ask you this. When we were younger, after we got out of like the really annoying, you have to help with diapers. Like what was your favorite part about being around us and us being around you? Well, just the things that happened, like uh, you were always glad to come here to see me. And I was always glad to see you. And mm -hmm. I can remember that there was uh, quite a bit of competition between two of my grandsons. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which ones? Uh, well, the ones I'm talking her, her to right now. Her two favorite? <laughs> her, her favorites. Her favorites. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe that, Grammy. Well, Grammy, on that same note, then, do you have any stories about Tyler that could be of an embarrassing nature that you'd like to share with the world? About Tyler? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Well, this is kind of what he does. It's kind of what I do, Grammy. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's see. I remember, I think it was a Christmas program at church one time. 
And you you boys were, I don't know, not very old, maybe four, three or four. And you were singing a song all lined up on the stage. And I don't know whether you were pushing each other. You were standing side by side. But then it got pretty, <laughs> pretty aggressive. And one of your moms, which was Nancy, yanked Tyler <laughs> off the stage. Hey, Grammy, do you do, remember that, Tyler? Do you remember that, Tyler? Do you remember that? Uh, are you asking if I remember a specific time that I got in trouble? Um, sure. Uh, Grammy, it up to... in your in your opinion, Grammy, based on your recollections of this event, why was it that Tyler got pulled off the stage and not me? This what? Why was it that Tyler? What was it about the incident that that made Nancy go for Tyler instead of me? Well, I think he was really trying to push you. <laughs> I'm not real sure. I just remember her yanking him off the stage. <laughs> Grammy, thank you. You came through in such a big way. Thank you for that. Are there any other stories that come to mind? Last question I have for you, Grammy. Are there any other well, stories that come to mind involving us four and then eventually five grandkids? Uh, uh, four of you. One time, and you weren't very old, none of you. We were... Uh, Sharon and Nancy and I were sitting in the front seat. We were on our way to St. Joe, I think. We were in the front seat, and you four were in the back, and you were sharing a bottle of pop. And you and Tyler kept <laughs> complaining about the other one taking too long, getting taking too big a drink. Do you remember that? I remember. All I wanted, Grammy, was just to get one little drink of that soda. And Tyler kept taking it. He kept hogging it. Well, I don't know about that, but I just remembered that oh. both of you were were complaining the other one was getting too much time or too much soda. <laughs> how How is it that in everything that all these stories, two people go unmentioned all the time, and they were the ones that started everything? That's a good question. Everything. The, because the namely, the namely this one right here below me. I, yes, that one. Right. Uh, Becky and... Kevin were the calm ones usually. Okay. Okay. I think they were probably just the puppet masters pulling the string personally, Grandma. But but listen, you're Grammy. So if that's what you say, then you're right. You're right. Grammy, yeah. is there anything else you'd like to say uh, while we got you here on the phone um, and uh, in regards to um, either your favorite uh, grandson or Tyler? Uh, <laughs> Steven? Yes. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I remember one time when you, you uh, grandkids were up here, and you were older then. I think you were probably in high school. Uh, you kids, it was in the summer, and you were playing hide-and-seek out in the yard. And both of you would, I think, were trying to outdo the other. One of you one time climbed as high as you could in the tree, the big tree, and the other one climbed up on the roof of the back well, back door, the little roof toward the door. And uh, so I figured that that was, that was typical of you two. Oh, uh, we were adventuresome, fun-loving, uh, easily lovable young men, weren't we? Well, Grammy, yeah. we sure appreciate you joining us. You can stick around, Grammy. This is your episode. So if you want to stick around and listen, you can. Or if you got, you know, a hot date or, you know, errands to run or whatever, <laughs> you're more than welcome to, uh, to take off. What do you want to do, Grammy? Well, I think I will take off before I get myself in trouble, okay? <laughs> okay, Grammy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Too late. Bye-bye. Love all of you. I love you. Bye. Love you. Love you, Grammy. Bye. Thank you. Love Bye. you. I said, Bye. I said I love you more than you did. Yeah, because you had to, to make up for all of this malfeasance, apparently, from when you were a kid. Um, <laughs> I, I, I will say it's funny. I, when I talked to Grammy, I said, can we call you uh, tomorrow uh, for this podcast thing? She said, yeah. You're not going to have a picture of me, are you? I was like, well, Grammy, I got no way to make that technology work in your house with no internet. And, uh, and then she said, she said, well, I, I, just, I just don't want to, to, to you know, be foolish. And I said, well, you don't have to worry about that. Tyler and I will make big enough fools of ourselves that uh, yeah. you'll look like an angel uh, compared to us. So anyway, that was Grammy. Um, all right, Becky, um, before we ask you the main question that I came, that, we, that we're here to, to answer, I want you to tell me, if your internet will let you, um, what feelings 
uh, pop into your brain when you see this image right here? Um, that looks like home. I don't know. I can smell the house just looking at that. Yes. So for the folks that are on audio only, I just put up a picture of our Grammy's house, which is a unique house, right? I mean, it's a it's a big two story like square. It's one of those few houses that's the exact same size um, in the upstairs as it is in the downstairs. This is the home we were talking about when when uh, Grammy was talking about when she said we would come up there and, and we loved to go up there and she loved having us. What you can't see from this picture is there's a really big yard uh, behind the the the, cam the picture taker um, that we played a lot of uh, games, still do play a lot of games in. Uh, but uh, Becky, I know this has special memories for all of us, but but you in particular, I know Grammy's house is kind of a thing and uh, a lot of good memories there, huh? Absolutely. Mm. All right. So now we're going to come to the, the main dish here. All right, main dish. Are you ready, Nancy and Becky? All right, we're going to let... Uh, my brother and my dad go first. That way you can kind of see what, what we're looking for here. Um, this is a, a conversation we had right before we brought you guys on. So it's still, it's still fresh. Uh, but uh, here's uh, Kevin and, and, uh, and Mark, my dad, uh, talking about uh, their thoughts about what makes Grammy the best. Because I think we're all in agreement Grammy's the best. Why? How? Grammy didn't know. She said she loved us. And that was about all she had for us. <laughs> so maybe dad and maybe Kevin Maybe they have some ideas on what makes Grammy so gosh darn great. All right, well, here we are. We've got Dad and we've got Kevin. We brought on here to um, ask them just one very important question. Uh, let's see, we'll go with uh, Kevin first since uh, he's got to go home at some point. Uh, Dad's retired, so he's got all the time in the world. Yeah. Um, Kevin, why is <coughs> Grammy... Kevin, why is Grammy the best? Grammy is the best because she is the most selfless person that I know, regardless of whatever she does, whether it's um, coming to see family or um, wanting to host family or retiring earlier than she anticipated because she needs to help family. It really doesn't matter. Everything that she does uh, is really motivated by uh, love and um, a, a willingness to help um, her family or friends. So in a nutshell, that's it. Uh, fo one follow-up question. On a scale of one to 10, how yes. precious are her hugs? Uh, 10 is probably not enough, I would say. Mm. All right, good. Nice shot so, there, uh, Grammy. Yes. All right. Okay, Very good nice. one. Uh, now to you, Dad, guy holding, guy holding phone. Dad. What makes Grammy the best? Well, Kevin hit the nail on the head when he said selfless, because uh, sometimes I'll tell people what Grammy did for our family, and they always say they don't make grandmas like that anymore. I mean, this is a woman who, when um, your mom, my wife, died, she came to Kansas, because we had the one-year-old Brian, and of course you guys were like 13 and 14 and uh she drove down on oh on uh it was uh sunday nights and she would stay until friday and then she'd go back to iowa and what she would do is she would take care of the house she would take care of brian and then she would uh when you come home from football practice or when we'd come home the house was all cleaned up the uh, dishes washed, the clothes washed, and dinner was on the table. And she did that for five years. Now, imagine then she'd drive back to Iowa. So you drive back to Iowa, I mean, it's like a two-hour drive. So, I mean, you talk about selfless. And um, when I tell people about that, they go, wow. You know, they're, they just don't make grandmas like that. And that's just one thing. I mean, selfless just really describes it. And for her to do something like that, I mean... It's like, uh, I'll never forget that. I don't know if you guys will ever forget it, but uh, she's just wonderful. All right. So we're all agreed that Grammy is the best? She is the best. She's all right. the best. All right, get out of here. We need to get back to the live studio. Maybe that jogged uh, some thoughts for you guys. Apparently, Dad and Kevin think that Grammy's the best. 
Uh, Tyler's over here wiping <laughs> tears away. I can I can see you, Tyler, the whole time. I can see you right here on my monitor. Um, uh, Becky, um, we're gonna let you go first because your internet's the worst. And uh, what, what? Why is Grammy the best? Well, I think Kevin and your dad took um, the reason that I was gonna say, but I'll just kind of piggyback on what they said. Besides being selfless, Grammy is. Um, I don't know if it's her generation or it's just how she grew up or just who she is, but she wants no credit for the things that she does. No. Um, and that is part of that's being selfless. And part of that is she really just, that's not in her. Um, <laughs> she's happy to be by herself. She's, but she's more than happy to have all of us come to her. Um, I don't know. I, I, so when we, when we were small, before we ever moved to the farm, I remember very clearly arguing over whose turn it was for Grammy to stay at their house. Um, and I remember, I don't know why I remember this, but I remember specifically one time Grammy heard us arguing and it was like devastating to her. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, we were small. You guys might not be big enough to remember that what but, are you talking um, about we we continued to argue about that for like the next 10 years all right so again we're trying to kind of figure out what what may why is grammy so great and so we've heard from dad and kevin selflessness has come up uh becky you were having trouble quantifying you said uh selflessness also yeah and love and just you know contentedness maybe uh maybe a humility yes. kind of seemed like you're saying that she didn't really need to be yes. in in the front and have her you know have her needs met. She's there to meet everybody else's needs. All right, Nancy, I'll know over to you. Why, why is Grammy, we agree Grammy's the best. We're, we're trying to get at, you know, you know, to help future grandmas, uh, like Becky, for instance. I mean, we just had Hallie's hang up. She was on there for the first time. She looks like a grown woman just about. So that's coming up, Becky. Um, Nancy, what, <laughs> what does Becky need to know about being a grandma? You know, I mean, obviously you're killing it as a grandma, you know, um, but what, why was Grammy so great? Why is Grammy so great? You know, it's hard to add on to that. Her love for her family. Um, she's loyal um, to, to all of us. She's humble. She's uh, um, non-judgmental. She doesn't gossip. I mean, I, I, she's kind. She's gentle. You know, when I was going through what I could say, it's like, oh, this is the fruit of the spirit. Um, that's, that's her. And I, I think maybe... She's the one that I want to be like. I want to be a grandma like she has been. Yeah, me too. 100%. <laughs> All right, Nancy and, and Becky, we sure appreciate you guys coming on the show today and giving us your insights into why Grammy's so great. If you want to hang out for the rest of the show, you certainly can. Um, we're almost to the end. Uh, Tyler and I, though, we need to tell us, we, we're going to go ahead and wave goodbye to you as if we're never going to see you again, but we know you're there. You're lurking in the background. You're lurking in the background. We see you. Um, Tyler and I, uh, we tried to quantify and put into words why we think Grammy's the best. But then, Tyler, we decided, didn't we? We decided that our feelings are best expressed not through written word, but rather no. through the medium of a song. So cute and so fun 
Sammy, you're the best. And I hope you know I love you all the time. La, la, la. And I hope you know I love you all the time. <laughs> that I, we actually recorded that. That was actually um, uh, original music by uh, Jewel Media LLC before oh. it was Jewel Media LLC. The first voice you heard on there was mine. The second was oh. Tyler's, and the third one was Kevin. So that yeah. was uh, you yeah. know. Uh, that came from the heart, Tyler, and we meant every word. It did she is magically we, delicious? We, we, sh we sure did. And when you had this like semi surprise, I knew it was coming, <laughs> and it's still like that was awesome. I, I did like the video though. You did some you did some solid work. So if you did not pick up the YouTube channel and you're just listening, please go find the YouTube channel and watch this episode because that one was sublime. Yeah, for our podcast friends, you can do that. You got to hear the song. That right there, that's awesome. I cut it down a little bit so that we get <laughs> went as long. But um, um, yeah, I hurriedly grabbed whatever I could find on my hard drive. And luckily, I mean, not luckily, intentionally, we spend so much time yeah. at Grammy's house yeah. that all I have to do is look back at a couple cell phone videos you know, uh, from different years. I try to keep all that stuff on a hard drive. Um, it did not take yeah. me long to find plenty of material with Grammy in it to kind of cover that. But I think that leads us into Tyler. Um, why is Grammy so great in your opinion? I, I mean, everybody's touched on it. And then, and you kind of, I think, put into words what Becky was saying, just her ability to be content wherever she's at um, really is something that, and 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 Becky said it. It's it's maybe a generational deal. It's maybe something that um, you don't see very often anymore because nowadays it's all me, me. I want this. I see these other people having this, that, and the other. And it's it's never. She's never shown that. She's never felt that, as far as we've known. Just it can be in Kansas, sitting on a back porch with us. It can be at one of the hundreds if almost thousands of basketball, baseball, football games that she sat through in whatever weather for however many years, watching the marks of Midway coach before we were out there to the four and then five of us as Brian went through, um, it didn't matter if it was there or at home sitting on her couch watching a Chiefs game. She's content in her own spot where she's at, wherever it is. And you go in there – it was funny. So Steph and I went down a few weeks ago, um, just after Christmas and, and we left. Steph made the comment that she's like, the thing that I love most about your grandma is I just always feel calm when I'm with Grammy and she has that ability to put everybody at ease, regardless of the situation and make everybody feel like one, they're the most important person in the room. And at the same time, it doesn't matter if they don't do anything. And she's the best, man. She's yep. the best. She's the best. I agree. As a matter of fact, you said it probably better than I could. So I, I won't I won't talk <laughs> long. But but really, um, I think you I think you got it right there. You know how people sometimes they 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 need uh stuff from you. I always felt like all Grammy really needed from us was just to be around. And that's why, yeah. you know, in, in our busiest stage of life, I'm always like, if we're not getting up there very often to see her, I always feel bad because I know that's kind of her way of like, uh, her love language is, uh, is time. Just us, you know, spend a little time with her here and there. But you, I mean, she was never, she was never yeah. like mad, you know, frustrated. I mean, I think I've annoyed her a couple of times, you know, but I think that's about oh, she's, as far uh, as I, no, no, no. <laughs> I can interject. She's been mad at me a few times, <laughs> <laughs> but never deserved. <laughs> oh always deserve it yeah always deserve it oh very good well if you can't tell we love our grandma which is why we wanted to make sure that we spent an episode talking about it because again if you're listening to this great we're glad you're here i mean you give us a reason to do this uh but the primary reason why Tyler and i started this is we just want to kind of get on record our thoughts you know about our childhood mm -hmm. and one of the biggest parts of our childhood is our grammy and there we have it we have an episode that our grandkids if we learn how to do it right 
like Grammy does, uh, we could share with them and, and they can appreciate her maybe through this as, as much as we do. So anything else to say, Todd, before we uh, sign off here? Oh, no, let's go to the ending. All right. Well, before we go, we want to remind our listeners that they can now support the show. Head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Kansas QB and subscribe to our podcast. We are currently offering three levels. Anyone wanting to sup- subscribe could subscribe to. We have three tiers for subscribers that each have their own set of perks. Perks ranging from in-show shout-outs to a KSQB t-shirt, Kansas QB sticker, exclusive bo- bonus episodes. Our first one is coming up this week. So if you are a subscriber, you're going to get an extra show on Friday. And even a guest segment on the show if you spend enough money. Lots of fun there. Tyler, final thoughts on our Grammy. I already asked you for them, but you think yeah, it's all been said? I've- no, well, I, I will say this. I do believe that the one thing that I can say is this this was a the show was titled wrong. This should not be G R A M M Y. This is Grammy One. Because we will be circling back to have oh, another Grammy. More episode. Grammy. Yes. Can you get more too Grammy. much Grammy? No. I've never had that feeling that you could have too much Grammy. <laughs> That's crazy talk. All right. Well, that's enough of that. For Tyler, I'm Steve. You know, that's how that's how like flustered I am right now with by my emotions. Yeah, I, know, by I, my goodness. I went and just skipped that last paragraph. But you know yeah, what? Know. Tracy Lindley's been thanked enough. I mean, she didn't ever ask me to think. She's just, you know, she's willing to help me out. And really, Tyler, yeah. you weren't you're not that busy anymore. So I don't need to thank you for clearing time in your busy <laughs> schedule. But I am glad we talked about Grammy. So, well, that's enough of that. For Tyler, I'm Steve, wishing you big fun in your small town. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Dude, you so you so skipped my line on purpose. Like I was throwing that one back in there, and you skipped that one on purpose. Which I one did I skip? You son of a gun! At the end, by what? the way, Grammy. I don't see anything. What are you talking about? Oh yeah. That's what, what does it say? Read it to me. me. Read it to me. me. What does it say? Me. I can't hear it. It says, "I'm her favorite." <laughs> oh, oh, I skipped that one. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah.